Good morning. All right, we're starting early. That's why it's so important to hit that bell button if you want to catch us live. That way you'll be the first one to be notified. But we're making breakfast. Kids are up. Kids are up. We've got to get them out of the house. Oh, I'll tell you more. Let's set it up. First, we're going to go about medium here. All right. This is where we're going to cook the eggs and sausage. All right. And then this one is where we're going to cook the tortilla. So we'll keep it at low for now. But later on, we might shift it to medium. All right. Let's get this thing started. And I'll tell you about why I'm waking up the kids so early. They've been waking up at noon for the last four or five days. It's summertime. All right, so let's put some sausage into the mix. It's already been heated and seasoned. All right, do that for a little bit. Now pick whatever uh, breakfast sausage you want. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is make our own breakfast mix. So today's breakfast mix is just gonna be sausage and eggs for our pizza. Right. As you know, my pavement is uneven and I have this list that goes this way. So anything that's runny or greasy, I cook it more on this side. See what I mean? How's everyone doing this morning? Daddy Dutch barbecue and cooking. Good morning. Thanks for joining, man. I should have my Blackstone tonight. Oh, Walter Baker. Thanks. What's up, man? No, I'm just uh, making breakfast because... All right, let's turn it down to the lowest setting. All right, so they're both low right now. There we go. Now we're starting a little early today because I got to wake the kids up and get them out of the house. They've been in the house gaming. I mean, you know, my kids, they're gamers. I understand. I get it. You know, I'll support them. But once in a while, they got to get some sand under their feet. Get some salt water in their lungs. Or not lungs, but <laughs> on their body. So I'm going to take them to the beach. We're going to take them to the beach. All right. All right. So this is done. I'm going to turn it off. We'll still keep cooking. All right. So what you want to do here, pop it on medium for just to heat it up. I'm just going to season it just a little bit. It's been a while since I made this. I can't remember the last time I made tortilla pizza on the Blackstone griddle. But I know I've made them before. Look how sizzling that is. I swear I just... Let me see what I can do here. See how close I can get it. Get you guys on there. All right, so while that's cooking, it's actually turned off, all right? Let's... Let's put a couple tortillas on there, yeah? 
let that warm up a little bit and then we'll flip it over and then we'll start building up. That is one beautiful picture. Salt water. Salt water, sand, sunburn after breakfast. Yes! That is the California life. That is definitely the California. I got the 36. I watch your video. Hey, Berber's Barbecue Eats. Thank you so much. I'll definitely check out your channel because it looks like you are a cooking channel and I love cooking channels. So, hey, everyone, let's go check out Berber's Barbecue Eats. Denny, the griddle, though. Yeah. All right. So, warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down to the lowest setting again. All right. Because I need some time to build this up. I don't know if you can see this. This thing is puffing. And I love it. Love it. All right, let's build it up real quick. Okay, nothing much, nothing fancy, but But if you're making it yourself, make it your own. Do your thing, all right? Don't let anyone else tell you how to make your breakfast. All right, just gonna give it a pizza sauce. Okay. Ooh, that's good. That looks good. And then, you want to put your favorite cheese. If it's mozzarella, do your thing, man. But what I'm going to do is I got these uh, this big bag of uh, four cheese. Four cheese Mexican. So I'm going to put a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Don't worry. We're going to put more. So from there, I want to give it some sausage. Let me use a spoon. It'd be easier if I use a spoon. All right. Give it some sausage in random areas. All right, spread it out. Try to spread it out. Look how that cheese is already melting. See it? Then I'm gonna give it some eggs. Just random areas. This one I think I can make it smaller. I'll do better. There we go. Ah. But you see what I'm getting at though. Okay. So I'm sure yours is going to look way better than mine. All right. But at least you get, but at least the point of this channel is really not to show you how to make it, but to just kind of basically give you an idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not here to show you how to make it. I'm just trying to give you some ideas. You know, let me make the mistake and then you could be the hero when you learn from my mistake. All right, so you can, you can serve it like this, or you do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a, my basting cover, all right? And this is why I have a rectangular one, is for this purpose, okay? I know everyone's like telling me to get the circular one, I get it, but I never really use the Blackstone to cook for myself. I actually use the Blackstone to cook for the family. So now you can understand why I don't buy that single circular basting cover. And I just made my own. All right. So let's set it up and I'll show you how I'm going to serve it to my kids. I'm definitely going to make more <laughs> after this, after this show. So remember this, remember this guy? What? Found it in a Spanish market when I was going for my morning walk the other day. And I got it. It's pretty cool. You could tell it's authentic. Look. Oh, wait. My bad. It's upside down. Low day Mexico imports. It's pretty good. All it is is just a board. And then legs nailed on there. All right. Let's do this. Look at that. 
Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, look at that. Let me let me get you guys closer. Now that's a breakfast pizza. See what I'm getting at? I'm just gonna turn it off for a little bit. And this is the crazy part, and this is where I might have to ask for forgiveness. I totally forgot to bring the pizza cutter. So what I have to do is leave you guys staring at this pizza for one minute. I'll be back. I found the manliest pizza cutter in our drawer. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? It's perfect. All right. Let's do a cut. Give you guys that uh, pizza effect. Whatever that means. All right. To be honest, we're actually done. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just having a little bit of fun with you guys. Let's give it a cut. Ooh. Yeah, don't judge my pizza cutter. Look at that. Look at that beautiful cut. Ooh. I think I owe you guys a close up. And you'll be the first to see what my thumbnail is going to look like. So most likely I will be using this shot right here as a thumbnail. This is the benefit of you guys uh, watching me live. You get to see how I'm one shot. I only get one shot to make this video. So, so this is the thumbnail that I will be using. All right. So, Hey, let me go feed my kids. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And let me take my kids to the beach. Let them have some fun. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that bell button, I will see you on the next live video. All right. Goody869. Thank you for joining. Silk with it. Hey, thanks again for joining. Pat Ring, as always, your homemade cover rocks, and I bought a pan just to do that. All right, thanks. Um, you love the larger cover ideas? Yes, thank you. Finally, go to their Facebook page and enter. Uh, yo, what's up? Cynthia Falcon, thank you again for joining. You're always finding me right when I'm live. Danny Stewart, same thing. Thank you so much for joining Berber's Barbecue Eats. Thank you again. All right, guys, I'm heading out. So enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.